Welcome back to Ambitions Vapor. I hope squad, I hope you guys are doing well out there today. I got a review on a box mod that I haven't seen any reviews on, and it's on the 3D Plus 200 watt temperature control box mod by GMG Vapor. All right, let's take a look at it. So this was sent to me from GMG Vapor for the purpose of this review, it's not going to change my opinion. Before I get into the review, I need to mention to you guys and reiterate that uh, you definitely got to go on kasa.org and rally.org and donate uh, to support HR2058 and a couple other legislation uh, rules that are coming into effect for the vaping industry. August8th.org, I think it's what it's called. August 8th of 2016, this regulation's coming, and we all knew that this was going to come. I don't think vaping's going to be gone, but I think the innovation is going to be gone. You want to go on there and support it. I don't want to get into all the details of it. I just need to let you guys know and reiterate this because it's, it's, it's a big deal. It's huge. All right, August 8th is going to be a big day. They're trying to make all the vaping products from 2007, February of 2007, Anything after that is like off the market, you know, and that's basically everything besides two little products that the big tobacco companies own. It's all about the money. It's all about big tobacco. They're trying to fuck us. Okay, so we have to keep a positive image. We have to keep a positive, politically correct um, approach, behavior in public, on YouTube, the whole thing. I know I swear and stuff like that, but, you know... We really got to just f support this and, and try to fight the FDA on the on these deeming regulations. All right. So that's all I'm going to say about that. Woo! Holy cannoli. Holy shnikes. Okay. So I got this. Uh, I got this 200 watt temperature control box mod. And it does nickel, titanium, stainless steel, wattage, mech mode. Uh, this is a great. It's a dual 18650, 200 watt box mod. Okay. It goes 5 watts, 200 watts. You can adjust your wattage in temperature control. So you could do 200 watts in temperature control. You can adjust your wattage in temperature control up to 200 watts as well. This is one of the first box mods besides the DNA 200 that lets you go up to the full max potential of wattage in temperature control mode. Holy cannoli, yes. A company finally got it. It's made out of aluminum alloy CNC. I'll give you all the specifications of this down low. I have it all. I have the Crown 2 on this bad boy right now. I have it at 90 watts in stainless steel mode. I adjusted the TCR mode. It has TCR modes as well. Without further ado, squad, let's dive down. Let's take a look at it. We'll come back up. Pros and cons. If I'm not going to my book bag and I was on train when I go out and buy one, I'll let you know where you can find it. And if I can find how much it is, I'll let you know as well. Sit back, relax, grab a vape, and I'll see y'all in a minute. This is the box that it will come in. All right, 200 watt temperature control box mod. Let's see, 3D+. Plus. Alrighty, this is on the uh, the old backaroo. Take that off, and uh, has a little, it's nice. It's got a little side pouch thing. You get a warranty card. It's also going to come with a manual. You're also going to get a uh, cotton, which I thought was really weird. Why would they give you cotton with a box mod? That's the inside of the box. All right, oh, I got some juice. Definitely some juice all over the place. So let's look at the outside first. It says 3D plus 200 watt design manufactured by GMG. You're gonna have your fire button, watch up, watch down, and the OLED screen. A little tab here. You're going to get your ventilation on this panel. You have your uh, 510. Nice firm, copper, 510 which is nice, right? Then it has this ring. I've seen something else like this, but uh, 
You know, that, I don't, I don't really understand why you can take that off. This holds 25 millimeters, perfectly flush. Then it has this tab. It opens up at four magnets. All right, pretty nice magnets, but it's kind of flat. All right, it's nice and it's definitely nice and firm. Oh, I like how I, I kind of like how they did that here. You can see the chip. Um, I kind of like that. It's got like a plexiglass type of. See that nice finish? It's got a really nice finish to it. Uh, it's got your battery strap. I wish this was shorter because when you put them on the battery strap, this does get in the way to close the door. Um, I wish that was smaller. Something I just noticed, squad. So yeah, it looks like a clean uh, internal, right? Well, one screw is missing. See how there's peak and then the screw? So this is peak. All right, and there's no screw. There's a screw missing, all right? Um, it came like that. I didn't like mess around with it or anything. So that's a, that's a con. Um, quality control. I do like how they did this. It shows the actual chip over uh, fiberglass. It's nice and uh, nice and firm. You got screws here. If you wanted to take this off, nice battery uh, contacts. See how that battery slide, it comes over, it's just a little too long. See that? So I always have a problem when I put on the, uh, nice, nice, but see, I always have a problem with that. This is a little, there's a little play. See that? One, two, three, four, five. It'll say GMG. And it'll come on. This is 200 watts. One, two, three. You can select wattage, nickel, titanium, stainless steel, Addy lock, mech mode. It has a mech mode as well. I'm going to go on stainless steel. All right, it goes to 600 degrees Fahrenheit, and then it round robins to 200. It goes 300 degrees Celsius. Okay. It'll say stainless steel. You can definitely adjust your wattage, but you have to adjust your watts in, in wattage mode. One, two, three. So let's say if I'm gonna do the um I'm gonna do the uh what is it called? The crown two. I'm gonna put the crown two on here. So I'll go down to 90 watts, right? Fire button, okay, one, two, three. We'll go back over to stainless steel mode, and now it's 90 watts. It's a 24 millimeter. It's a little bit, a millimeter of overhang, okay? I will show you uh, more later, but I just wanted to show you that. So, no, it's not giving me it right now. I'm trying to get this for you here. New coil, yes and no, I'll hit yes. 0.28, all right? 90 watts, like I said, 580 degrees. One, two, three. Uh, Addy lock, we could go, see, it locks it, one, two, three. Uh, mech mode, you know mech mode. It'll say mech, one, plus and minus, hold it, and it will lock. See, hold it down again, unlock. Whoa, TCR functions, okay, the this button and the fire button. You can do TCR. Let's do the this button and that button. Screen off. Stealth mode. Turn. You can turn the screen. Shut it off or turn it. Do it again. Screen on. So I'm going to do that because I think it's point zero zero nine two. One, two, three, four, five. It will say standby. It's it's off. Okay, uh, that's pretty much the uh, the menu system, man. Uh, it's a very nice screen. It's nice and big. It's the width of the, the box mod. The size of it is 110 by 59.5 by 27. So 110 by 59.5 by 27 millimeters in width. Made out of aluminum alloy. 
CNC, and it's got the original TCR to satisfy the vape feeling. Condensate collection ring, uh, protection 510 connector. That's the condensation ring. 0.5 volts to 8.4 volts for the output. Maximum current is 25 amps. Battery voltage range is 6 volts to 8.7 volts. Two 18650s high drain, I would use 25 to 30 amps. Temperature, I showed you atomizer ohm range. 0.06 to 2.5 ohms. It supports regular canthal, nickel, and titanium wires. So you could put this down to 0 0.06 with a canthal build. I fucking love that, guys. Max output's 200 watts. That's the specifications of it. That is next to the X200 by Cartel Mods. That is next to the DX200, DNA200 by Hudson. That is next to the Cubioid 150 watt or 200 watt if you upgrade it. Box mod by Joy. That is next to the Spartan 300 watt temperature control triple 18650 box mod. I'll have a review on that soon as well. That's the size. Now, that's how it looks with the uh, Crown 2 on it. That is the 25 millimeter Creus Plus RTA. Perfectly flush. I mean, that is perfectly flush. Look at that. This is how it's going to look with the 22 millimeter. The Troll version 2. Not bad. It sits flush. All of them sit flush, which I like. I'm going to take a uh, titanium uh, coil and do a temperature control test. I'm going to bring the wattage all the way down to 400. See, you see how it goes? It's temperature protecting, but... I mean, it's saying temp protecting. Let's go back up to FaceTime, pros and cons. All right, I'll see you guys in a minute. Loaded. You know, I said this stuff was all right in my review. This stuff's awesome. I had to go through a whole bottle of it to really enjoy it. But this stuff's really freaking good. Uh, 580 degrees stainless steel motor. Set the TCR settings to 92. It doesn't do like the .00 all that. It goes from like 1, put it to 92. Uh, so I set that. It, it's not going to be in TCR mode. It's not going to say TCR on the screen. It's going to go back into whatever mode that you were using, previously using, with that TCR uh, coefficient rating settings that you did, okay? Uh, 0.27 locked stainless steel 580 degrees at 90 watts on the crown with the 0.25 stainless steel 316 coil in this bad boy with the loaded, man. Oh! I'm in love. I am effing in love. The way a temp protects. There's something I need to mention that uh, could be a con to some people. I don't really know how I feel about it. The signal of it is like a... It's not like... It's very like... It's got like a big curve to it. It's not doing that, but... Now I do the review, it doesn't do it. I wish I could let you hear it, but it's just functioning perfectly now. Vape's awesome in wattage mode. Vape's awesome in temperature control mode. Uh, let's try mech mode. This is an awesome box mod, dude. It's an awesome box mod. It's one of my favorite box mods, man. It is just, it's accurate. It works just to say that the, the, how it's supposed to work. Temperature control is awesome. Wattage mode is awesome. Mech mode is awesome. Some cons. All right. There was a, there's two screws inside where I showed you down low. One of the screws is missing. It has peak insulator around those screws. The screw was missing, but the peak insulator pot was in there. Okay. Um, so that's a little bit of a con for quality control. The screen's nice. I can read it daytime, nighttime. It's a really nice big screen. I love the friggin' screen. I love the settings. I love the menu system. I love how you can do TCR, stainless steel, nickel, titanium, mech mode, wattage mode. It does everything for you. It's a dual 18650. Another con is the battery door. It's got a little bit of play in it. Okay. That, 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 those are one of the small nitpicky things. I'm not going to sit there and do that, but it is a con. The magnets are really nice. They function well. They're strong, okay? Um, the 
the battery uh, strap is a little bit too long. So you're gonna have a problem when you use it, it's always gonna stick out and you have to really finagle it so it doesn't stick out. I like how it has that uh, condensation ring on the top and I like how it's stainless steel, it gives it a nice tone look to it. And all your 25 millimeter RTAs, uh, RDAs, whatever you got that's 25 millimeters will sit flush on this bad boy. 22 millimeters will look like that. It's got a copper 510, it's a nice, beautifully firm, 510 everything sits on this flush and makes a connection completely 100 percent flush juice will show up on this a lot and it is a little bit of a fingerprint magnet even though it's alloy uh just the finish of it it's not going to scratch off or anything i mean it does not scratch off okay there's no usb port on this okay so there's no upgrades the buttons are nice responsive these buttons are responsive very clicky this is a very quality made box mod man i mean it's one of my favorite box mods it's one of the only box mods i actually enjoy in temperature control mode you guys know how i feel about temperature control i definitely like how it goes up to 200 watts in temperature control mode this is one of my favorite box mods okay who the fuck is that 0 0.06 ohms that you can go down on this in canthal stainless steel titanium 0 0.06 i love that um it doesn't really get too warm you can find this box mod at gmgvape.com link on screen and description that's where it's set from that you can find it i don't know the price point on this i looked it up i googled it i couldn't find anything on this besides gmgvape.com is where it was sent from and they don't have a price on their website i'm looking at it directly behind you once i do find out and i talk to them and ask them i will put an update in the description i'll put a price point for you all right if a mugger stole my book bag and i was on the train this was in it i would a hundred percent Go out and buy this. Well-rounded powerhouse. Um, it's accurate. I love mech mode. I mean, everything you ever want for vaping, this thing does it. I was super surprised because I looked at it. I'm like, who's this company? What's this box mod? It's called 3D Plus. What the hell is that? Um, I don't know about it. And holy shnikes, it is my favorite box mod, man. Now, I know you guys are going to ask me, Derek, ambitious, how does it, how is it compared to the IPv5? How does it compare to the DNA 200? Well, does it compare to the DNA 200? It's pretty close to the damn DNA 200, all right? Uh, the IPv5, well, I think this might have the IPv5, to be honest with you. To be 100% honest with you, I think it's got the IPv5 because, well, it goes up 200 watts in, in, in temperature control mode, and it does mech mode. Huh. You know, I highly recommend this box mod. That's what I got for you today, squad. I hope you found this video helpful or informative or entertaining. If you did, please, it takes one second to leave a like, share, subscribe. Comment down below if you have any questions or concerns on this product or anything else for that matter. And I give you content on a daily basis. 1080p, 60 frames per second. Don't waste your effing bandwidth not subscribed to this channel. Stay juiced up, squad. I'll catch you tomorrow.